Hello everyone! This video is intended as a quick introduction to the new dispatch tracking screen. To access the new tracking screen, log in to the Concrete Go interface. Open the Dispatch tab and click Tracking New. Note that the old tracking screen is also available under Tracking. However, it will be phased out in the future, so you probably want to use the new one. Plus, it has new features. Now, taking a look at the screen. At the top is the menu bar. At the center, you can see plant, order, and truck statuses. At the bottom, which is divided into three parts, contains additional order and truck information. The three sections can be expanded or minimized by dragging the edges. They can also be closed and reopened like so. If this is your first time using the dispatch tracking screen, you'll notice that there are no plants or orders visible. To fix this, let's head up to the top right menu bar and click Screens, which will open up the User Multiple Tracking Screens configuration window. Here, you can create screens with unique names and select the plants that you would like to be visible. When you are done, click Save. Plants 1 and 2 are now visible, along with their orders. The Save window can generate additional screens for a user with multiple monitors viewing the dispatch tracking screen. Individual screens can display different plants. We see when selecting one from the screen drop-down menu that different plants are shown according to our selection in the user multiple tracking screens configuration window. To create a new order, simply click the plus new button in the upper left hand corner, enter in the necessary information, and click save. You can see your unticketed orders in the main screen. They appear like this. Each order has four buttons. The status button allows you to change the status of your order from within the main screen. For your convenience, each status is colored differently. Clicking the paintbrush icon allows you to change the color of your order. Double click on a color and you'll notice that the font color changes. Clicking on the point of interest icon will bring up a map of the customer location. Hovering over the phone icon will give you the customer name and phone number. If you did not enter one, a blank text box will be shown. Right clicking in order can bring up additional options. You can also see orders in the bottom left section. Orders that have reached or exceeded their start time appear under the Orders to Load tab. By default, only orders with the normal status are shown. However, this can be customized by going to the top right menu under Settings in the Order to Load tab and selecting additional statuses which you would like to see. See now that will call orders are also shown and labeled by color. Under the order details tab, you can see all of your orders at a glance. You can customize the order info shown by going to the same settings menu in the top right corner. Under the order details column tab, you can 
select information that you would like to see and deselect information that you do not need. You can also drag a column higher in the list if you deem it more important. For example, by placing customer name at the top of the list, I will now see customer name first in the order details tab. Clicking the column title will sort by the information in that column. For example, clicking customer will sort my orders alphabetically. Clicking the column again will toggle the sort in the other direction in reverse alphabetical order. To ticket an order, simply click and drag the truck to the order. You can also drag the truck to the order in the Orders to Load tab. This will open the ticketing page. Enter in the necessary information and click Print. Each truck, by default, is assigned a color according to the plan it is from. Each truck displays its truck code, plant number, and the amount of time it has spent at its current location. The seven columns here represent truck statuses. You can change the status of a truck by dragging it to another column. Trucks in the returning column will also appear in the returning trucks tab below. Returning trucks can be dragged into the trucks and yard tab. You can also drag a truck into the out of service tab to indicate that it is not available. Right clicking on a truck can bring up more options. For example, you can choose to view truck info and change the driver. Or you can choose to change the truck color. Simply click on the paintbrush icon, double click on the color, press OK, and you'll notice that the truck color is now purple instead of the original orange. If you want to change it back, simply press Default, OK, and it will return to its original plant color. Ticketed trucks also have a warning indicator that activates after a truck has stayed in status for longer than scheduled. In this case, the type of indicator is a flashing bell. This alarm style can again be customized under Settings. In the Themes tab, under the Alarm Style drop-down menu. You can choose from three different styles, or none at all. You can see plant info on the main screen. Next to each plant is a small Wi-Fi symbol. Black indicates that the connection is solid, while gray indicates that connection has been lost. Since this is a demo, all Wi-Fi symbols are gray. You can also see the total scheduled and shipped amounts for all the orders under each plant. Now, let's take a look at the menu bar. In addition to the plus new button, there are various other features. I'd like to highlight two new features of the new dispatch tracking screen. First is the search field. You can now search for an order by customer name, product number, or any other information, for example, address, or even caller name. Second, I'd like to demonstrate the command line found here, where you can easily access common functions. For example, 
a new order can be called by typing in N O for new order and pressing enter. You can see the new order form. Similarly, you can also bring up an edit order form by typing in E O for edit order and then the order number. Press enter and the edit order form for that order appears. Other possible functions include confirm to bring up the order confirm screen, CO and the order number to copy an order, RO to remove an order, and finally TO and the order number to ticket an order. Only slightly less exciting than the previous functions of the old dispatch screen have new and improved counterparts. Here, we can see the current date. The left and right arrows allow you to scroll through previous days. The calendar icon opens the calendar so you can easily skip to a certain day of orders. Clicking T will bring you back to today. With a lot of orders on screen, you can choose to filter orders by status. For example, unchecking will call will hide all will call orders. By default, normal and will call orders are shown. The confirm button brings up the order confirm screen where all orders with the will call status are listed along with the name of the customer who ordered it and their phone number if you entered it. Once you have called and confirmed, you can enter a name and click confirm to change the order status to normal. Or you can remove the order, as you can see here, and it will disappear from the main screen. Of course, both actions can be undone. When you are finished, simply close the window. The sort button allows you to sort orders within their plant by start time, order code, customer name, or order status. The arrow next to it toggles the direction in which it is sorted. For example, Sorting with an up arrow by customer name sorts them alphabetically. A downwards arrow means reverse alphabetical. You can also choose which plants you would like to see. For example, you can hide plant 1 by unchecking plant 1. Unchecking a plant will hide all orders and trucks under that plant. By default, all plants are visible. The Screen Selection drop-down menu allows you to choose between screens, as we have shown, if you have multiple under the User Multiple Tracking Screens configuration window. Clicking this blue button will refresh the screen. If you are disconnected, the button will turn orange, as you saw just then. Finally, the Additional Functions menu contains many settings which we have already familiarized ourselves with. Now though, I'd like to demonstrate how to customize your background under the Themes tab. You can use any image you find online. Simply copy the URL and type in the background text box, URL, open parenthesis, single quote, copy paste the URL in, single quote, close parenthesis, and hit OK. For now though, let's choose a pre-designed color palette. For example, sun. Press OK. And you can now see that the background has changed. 
Under the same menu, you can also find a concrete calculator. The user multiple tracking screens configuration window, which we are now familiar with. The reset trucks button, which resets all or a single truck, returning it to the yard. And the pop out button, which opens the dispatch tracking screen in a new window. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the new dispatch tracking screen.